why is it people find it easy to blame the Lord and Christ and any of the prophets for what is wrong in the world? It is not them that's caused the wrong in the world. It certainly isn't God that's or Yahweh is I know him, but Allah is the Muslims own cause the wrong in this world. It is mankind who's done this, not Christ nor any any prophet. How I know this is I was homeless in eighty nine. I lived in America at that time. And I mean by homeless, you don't know it now, that I was ever homeless. Look at I mean, I was actually homeless, and I was left with one pair of clothes on my back, a young child, and, oh, let me take my glasses off, the spasms are getting terrible, I'm not worried about that, anyway, the point is, I was homeless, I was hungry, didn't know how I was going to take care of my child, I just trusted the Lord the entire time. I believed in Him. And though I had nothing, I felt I had everything, so long as I had Him in my life. And as you can see, okay, I'm disabled. Now people say, well, if you believe so much in Him, why aren't you healed? It doesn't matter if I'm healed or not. I'm healed in other ways. You know, at least I know my spirit is whole. My spirit is intact. And, okay, you know, materialist-wise, you know, he's blessed me as well. But, believe it or not, the things I've been blessed with, I've inherited from uh, the city behind me. A friend of ours passed away. It, it was left us. The lamp my dad made. Um, the bunny. Um, my mum and dad got made for me and Paddington I inherited and the painting behind me was made by a friend of ours and but the fact what I'm trying to say is all it is when I go is <laughs> I can't take it with me anyway but the point I'm making is that I was during the lowest point of my life and I had absolutely nothing and I mean nothing I, I mean, I don't know how you can understand the concept of nothing. Many of you probably never know what it is to have nothing. Always have plenty, but I'm talking about I had zero. And yet, and I also during that time, I had to have two serious operations. I had to have an ovarian cyst removed, and four days later, my gallbladder had to be removed. In both accounts, I almost died. And in 1999, in fact, it wasn't, it was getting close to Easter, it wasn't Easter, um, I had an NDE, because I had septicemia, and the doctors told my husband to make necessary arrangements, and yesterday, I found out I became a grandmother, and he was born on the 8th of April, 8th of this month. So, to me, as far as I'm concerned, there is the Lord, and He loves us all, and I love Him, and if the government said to me that I have to be microchipped or die, well, I'd die because I'd, I would die before I allowed Him to microchip me and take me away from Him, because He's given me so much, and um, I just thought I'd share it being it's Easter weekend, and today is well this week is Passover and this is um, the day that or the week weekend of that we I think that many people recognize his birth well his birth people recognize it Christmas but he wasn't born December 25th but we won't argue that but the fact is this is where we recognize his birth into eternity um, and that's what I want to leave you with.